Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We all know that Nexo has been vocal about buying out their competition, but now it seems like they may not be doing as well as they had foretold. Now, they're still far more healthy than the other lenders. They don't have any exposure to 3AC, but their deposits have almost been cut in half since May 12th. Now, a lot of that is just the volatility of the market. Bitcoin's decreased 20%, so their actual um, deposits have decreased 44%, but that's really just because of the, basically the bounce effect of three arrows Celsius. Everyone sees these lending platforms are going down, so they're taking their money out of Nexo as well. So right now, I do not foresee them going bankrupt, but they are definitely still not in the best of positions. If you look at an analysis of crypto um, lender Nexo's attestations, if you use older data, you will see that they had $6.9 million, a billion dollars, sorry, on May 12th, and that declined to $3.9 billion. So that's a decrease of $3 billion in roughly two months. Now, Nexo and uh, basically industry analysts have actually said this is just normal like market behavior, and we know how volatile crypto actually is. So I tend to agree with them. It is actually normal market behavior. But having almost 40% of your money outflow in two months probably is not the best thing in the world. Customer liabilities expressed in Bitcoin terms, which helps filter out the fluctuation in crypto prices, fell to 169,672 Bitcoin from 261,000. So even if you take out the drop in Bitcoin price, you still fell about almost 100,000 Bitcoin in that period. So the thing is, like most people think it's pretty natural behavior. And since they don't have any exposure to 3AC or any of those failing companies, they should actually be okay. But it is actually going down substantially. Now, it did actually rise uh, yesterday and now it's going down again today. But I don't really, like I think Nexo can actually hold up and I don't think they will actually implode. So they're not asking for other people to actually buy them out or anything. They still have acquisition plans. They tried to buy Celsius. Um, and they're hiring a they're hiring Citigroup, the banking giant, to actually help them buy out other firms. So Nexo is actually doing pretty well, but we don't really know that much in this volatile market. If more and more people withdraw their money from Nexo at this pace, they might actually be facing real, real trouble um, in the future. So definitely something to keep your eye on. If the outflows get like too serious, we might want to like reconsider. Um, you know, like our deposits in Nexo. But for right now, it does actually seem, uh, it does actually seem like it's going to be pretty, uh, they're going to be okay. But they might be suffering a lot from the bounce back effect of Celsius and all those other lending platforms going down and they're lumping, and they're being lumped together with the other lending platforms too. But Nexo is, um, the platform's utility tokens down 80% this year and it's currently trading at 70 cents. But the thing is like, the, the fact that it's so low right now, it's going to be one of the only lending platforms to actually come out of this probably. It could actually be a really good pickup and a solid gem, but it is a risk and it's not one I'm willing to take, but you could actually make a lot of money from this if Nexo is one of the few that actually come out of this unscathed. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.